this is what I currently look like with workout clothes on. I'm not able to fit into any of my clothes. This weight no longer feels healthy. So here we are at the starting point again. Even though I know what I need to do to change my body, mind, and habits, I still have to face those same thoughts. How did I even get here? How can I avoid it from happening again? What if I fail and now everyone will see it? After all, I decided to share my process with anyone who wants to see it. I look at myself in the mirror and see what my body actually represents. It represents all the choices I've made over the past few years, and while these, admittedly, may not have been the best choices, they were my choices to make. And since our power lies in these choices, that means that we can choose to change, change our mindset, our approach, and our perspective, and in turn, our bodies too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get on the scale and take my very first measurement so that I can see what I've gotta work with. Our power lies in our choices. Last week, I talked about building mental strength for fitness, and in this video, I want to show you exactly how I follow that 10-point process for my own weight loss. Find your why. It just doesn't feel healthy anymore. I realize I don't feel good in the mornings when I wake up, and it's time to make a change. Properly track your progress from the beginning. Research your food, research your exercises, decide how you want to start, build awareness around your eating habits, remove tempting foods from your pantry, share the process with positive and supportive people. Build your habits slowly, one at a time. And last but not least, move slow and steadily toward your goal. Forgive yourself if you make a mistake and start over again the next day. If you're just getting started with weight loss or just starting to exercise again, I found that taking it very slowly is the key to not feeling too much soreness and fatigue in your first week. For me, this workout is more about assessing where I currently am after not exercising for a while. For this first week, I'll be exercising three days for just 30 minutes. I'm going to do the same exact workout, which consists of a 10 minute warm up, 10 minutes of stretching, and then 10 minutes for the exercises. After walking and jogging for 10 minutes to warm up, I'm going to do some gentle stretches, checking my posture and my mobility. In the past, I would start off too hard and fast, and pushing too hard in the beginning will almost guarantee that you'll miss your next workout if you're too sore or exhausted. Since we're building the habit of exercise, we'll want to have a positive experience with it in these first weeks, so don't overdo it. In watching this video, I realized how much my posture has changed since I stopped working out. My shoulders are rounded and my neck tilts forward. 
I want to fix that. If you're interested in improving your posture and mobility, I'll leave my favorite videos for you in the description box. For this workout, I'll only be doing four exercises. As you can see, I'm finding my balance and taking note of improvements that I need to make in my form. Since my form still needs some work, if you're interested in seeing proper squat form, I will link some videos down below. I will say one of the challenges in filming this workout was seeing how different it is from what I was able to do three years ago. I felt somewhat embarrassed at times, but I am committed to sharing what the process looks like, and this is what it is for me right now. For this workout, my main goals were to assess where I currently am feel out the movements, and slowly build the habits of starting a workout plan again. And even though I kept my repetitions and my sets low, I was pretty sore the next day. If you've recently started working out, I'd love to hear how it's going for you, and really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thank you so much, and I will see you next week.